first Astro with a multi-homer game in the World Series joins us. Kyle, thanks for coming in. Uh, we'll start with Mark to your left. Hey, Kyle. I know Hello. that in the World Series there's always a sense of urgency, but after losing game one, is there, is there even more sense of urgency to, to not have to go to Philly 0-2? Uh, I don't know if it's urgency. I mean, we try and come out and win every single game, so um, you know that's what we're going to try and do today and try and get out to an early lead and try and keep it. To your right, Kyle, Brian. Do you get a sense of how much this this run has meant to your, Dusty, your manager, and you know it's been a big storyline. He's chasing his first World Series, and now you know he's getting really close. Have you seen just uh, it, the emotions kind of get to him at times where he he's got a real shot here now? Uh, I think he knows how good of a team we are, and you know we're you know a couple wins away from winning us. So. Uh, I mean, we have. A, I still feel like we have a really good chance, and you know, we got another game today that we need to try and go out there and win, and um, and then take it to you know Philly and try and win those games. So, I mean, we have a pretty good team, and uh, I mean, he knows that, and everyone in our clubhouse knows that. So we just got to get things done. A little further back on your right, Ryan. Kyle, the Astros have been so good at home uh, in the regular season and the first couple rounds of the playoffs, but one and seven in the last eight home games. Uh, here in Houston, and can you, can you explain that? It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Um, I don't know. I mean, we play good teams. I mean, we we win games on the road as well. So um, it's not like you're going to win every single home game, and you're not going to lose every road game. So uh, I mean, you know, we're playing a really good team, and I mean, they're they're out here trying to win the series as well. So I mean, they're going to do whatever they can to win, and so are we. And it's not always going to work out, you know, in our favor. But uh, we're going to try and do everything, you know that we can to you know try and win the game. So that's just kind of how it's just worked out. Yeah, back left corner, Chandler. Kyle, both you and Jordan saw the lefties in their bullpen last night that they had to offer. I guess maybe you didn't get the results you wanted, but how valuable is that in the long run of this series to see those guys and have at bats against them now? Uh I mean it's good. I mean I face I mean we face them, you know, at the end of the year as well. So um I mean just how it is. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get get going to get them the rest of the series, uh, probably every game, uh, kind of just depending on how the game's going and the matchups and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, we've seen them before. I mean, it doesn't make it any easier, but you know, we're just going to go up there and try and get hits regardless of who's out on the mound. A little bit further up on your left, Scott. Kyle, looks like, you know, after the starters, of course, the Phillies are looking at, say, you and Jordan in the lineup and definitely looking to put um, left-handed pitchers in there. For you this year, what have you liked and not liked about, you know, what you've done against lefties? Uh, I mean, I don't really mind lefties. Um, I mean, I don't, for me, I don't really necessarily care whether there's a righty or lefty out on the mound. Um, you know, I just still try and go out there and put together a competitive at bat and try and get on base. So. Uh, I mean, I feel like I've done, you know, just as well off lefties as righties. I don't know my stats at all, but um, I think career-wise, or just how I feel in the box, is relatively the same. Second row on your right, Christy. Hey, Kyle. Um, since you're one of the few people in the majors that doesn't wear batting gloves consistently, I wonder how often do you hear about that? And secondly, I know you've worn them here and there, but would you ever um, wear them consistently? Um. I mean, probably not right now. I mean, if it's like freezing cold and I can't feel my hands, I'll probably throw them on. But uh, I mean, I hear about it whenever I do wear batting gloves because it's, I guess, a story at the time. But uh, that's just something I do every now and then, just kind of randomly and try to mix things up. Fourth row on your left, Tyler. Uh, two questions, just thinking about it. Um, why don't you wear batting gloves? Um, Probably like my freshman or sophomore year of high school, I probably just stuck, like I just I probably ripped a pair of batting gloves and just never got another pair and just learned to hit without them, and that's just kind of how it started. And I just never really felt the need for them really. And more big picture about the Astros, I mean, when the year they drafted you, they were you know it was their first good year really, and they were they've been good ever since. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think it is? What do you think it is about this organization that um, you know, different players come and go, but they're always a top team? Uh, well, we have a lot of really good minor league players that whenever, you know, guys come up, to, uh, you know, from AAA or from wherever they are in, the, in our minor league system, you know, they come up and, you know, they want to win and produce. And uh, I think our, you know, development side of our 
organization has done a really good job at preparing them to, you know, when they do come up here to play well and perform well. And we just have really good players in general. Um, so I think kind of a little, little bit of the combination of just having really good players and kind of, you know, helping them, you know, teach them and, you know, try and help them out to stay in the big leagues and what they need to do to stay up here and do well. Um, but, I mean, like Hunter Brown, JJ, Seth, I mean, a bunch of guys that we have come up, you know, have done well. Any questions for Kyle? Uh, we'll go back to Scott on your left. When you watched your homers back from yesterday, was that as, as much, you know, emotion and celebrating as you've done? Like, what did you think of, you know, the way you twirled him shirt just came out naturally, which a lot of guys do in moments like this? Uh, probably. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, we're in the World Series, and, you know, to put up runs on the board at, in this, you know, point of the season is huge. I mean, we're, you know, we, we get really good arms that we have to face every, every day now, and um, it's kind of tough to, you know, put runs up on the board. So when we do, it's, you know, it's pretty exciting, and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, win the game today. Thanks. Anything else for Kyle? All right, Kyle, thanks cool. so much for coming down. Appreciate Thank it. Uh, Dusty should be down in a few minutes.